serait tout Heureuse, heureuse, heureuse Il faut Je le veux Hi, hello, here we are again. Uh, it is now blog number 10. And it's been an emotional week because we've been looking at emotion. Um, in expressionist acting, which is what we're dealing with, we're, we're trying to synthesize uh, and, and concentrate uh, states that people are in rather than naturalistically move through them. Um, uh, but with, when, you, when, you're, when you're focusing on concentrating gestures and maybe trying to uh, give an outward expression of inward uh, sensations, um, you, you still need a kind of emotional sort of center holding it all together. Um, so we've been looking at how to achieve emotion. Uh, now, if you think about it, there are there are four ways, that, there are three ways that I, I kind of tend to think about as an actor creating emotion. The first the one that I've used in the past is a Stanislavski method, which is really just focusing on the given circumstances of a scene. So um, it's, you know, the detail of it. Where am I? What time is it? Um, what is my relationship to everything, really? To tables, chairs, people, events, wallpaper. Um, so you have a very, very clear feeling of the details of the given circumstances of what you want, of what you're trying to achieve, what your objectives are. Uh, and then you play very strong, clear, actions to achieve those objectives and hopefully actors playing with you are doing the same to you and by a kind of empathic shift you find that your body starts to respond as if it were happening in the real world because of empathy and so although you're not dealing in anything real you've got a very clear sense of the given circumstances of the scene and it, it evokes um, the emotional response you need, uh, and, and that works. Um, the second method that people have done is, is really what Lee Strasberg developed, and it's what people, when they think of the method, are really what they're thinking about, which is um, affective memory. Um, and the way he worked with this Stanislavski idea was, was to actually take a real event in your life and live through it uh, by focusing again just uh, on the on the details. What's the weather like? Or what temperature is it? What smells? How do things feel? So you get a very a very physical sensation of that time. But in that case, it's a real event. It might be your mother's funeral. It might be the day you found a puppy you thought was lost. Um, whatever it is, it's it's a real event. And that's the difference, really, and therefore you start responding as you back in that real event. It's why people, when they start telling you in quite a calm way about something from their past, um, as they start to sort of relive it, as they start to tell you the details, they suddenly find themselves caught up again in those emotions which actually have disappeared long ago. Um, the third method uh, that I, I've been in contact with is uh, through Michael Chekhov and his work. And Michael Chekhov tried to uh, to work less with imaginative realities in, in the way I've just described and more with uh, imaginative placements in your body. For example, you might imagine that you have some kind of ghost body and by imagining that body falling, it will evoke sensations in your actual physical body and uh, emotion is a physical sensation and so Michael Chekhov tries to recreate not the trigger but the physical sensation itself so it's like working backwards so um, for example you might do exercises where you imagine that you have a heart that is falling out and forwards it takes a while to sort of move yourself into that imaginative place but you know you can be in a room full of people crying and you ask them why and there's no reason it's just that the emotional response has been triggered in their bodies through uh, an imaginative way of working um, what we've been doing is a kind of extended version of that really I've been working with uh, a colleague from Birmingham School of Acting uh, the acting tutor 
Gareth Somers and um, we've been taking what we did with Buto, which is again a, a kind of expressionist movement which comes from having inside you an image that you're working with maybe that image is something like um, I need a I need a bone uh, maybe that image is um, uh, fire which is turning your body to ash and sometimes within that you start to find an, an emotional resonance um, what we've been doing is is slowly kind of trying to find uh, just focus on our interior and, and listen to movements within our body and then give them some source so for example we've been we've been working um, on, on big qualities, on grief, on um, aggression, on fear, and on lust. Um, once you've got that small movement inside you, and you've identified it, you, you can invest it with some physical qualities. Um, so, for example, if you were working with grief, you might you might find a sensation sort of sitting somewhere around your solar plexus and you might invest that with a pulling feeling and you might look through your eyes and try and feel that your eyes are, are pulling people towards you and incredibly it, 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 did, it did start to trigger sort of really big sensations um, uh, and they were real emotions but they weren't feelings tied to any event. It was just a physical sensation that evoked, you know. So uh, the people watching these exercises felt, you know, very highly charged and, and very moved by it because their empathy was caught up in what seemed very real. But the actors could turn it on and off, and that was really exciting because we could move from aggression to fear, uh, from grief to lust. We could start mixing these things together. Um, and uh, and and then start to invest scripts which had nothing to do with those emotions, with those emotions, uh, and it starts to lead to some really um, very interesting, uh, perplexing, um, challenging work, uh, and and that's where we've been. We've been uh, experiencing grief and other emotions. Oh, me, me, me. Hova mi madir, skateva mi marha mi famo avedenin. Vanku se shit graundan, asse hyan se ronin. Vamishe kamachrupeg. Also, who surround me? Hova mi, hiva mi, hova mi, ma dear, scatava mi, marha mi, famo ave Also, we've been trying to start learning some pieces of music because again music is another way of kind of contacting emotions but also sidesteps naturalistic ways of behaving and we've been learning some bits of music too thank you that's it uh, and then just three regular beats it's really slow so one two three and then you go Vexilla, just on the same note. <laughs> 